Well, I'm back in here on uh, one of the main farms um, that I hunted last year. This is the same farm that I killed the tall tie 10 from uh, about 500 yards back to the north of where I'm standing now. This is where we got a whole bunch of pictures of him, him and the split brown nine on the uh, scrape fix this last year. So I came in here today, I cleaned out a whole bunch of limbs. I opened this up a little bit and we're gonna put a browning trail cam on the tree and uh, we're gonna hang a new scrape fix vine right over my head right now. And we're gonna put the, uh, the new velvet from scrape fix on it. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch some of these, these deer that I've been waiting to see for the last uh, few months uh, hit this scrape. So got a little more work to do and uh, we'll uh, see what we can find on camera. I got the trail camera set, I got the vine set. Last thing, we're putting the velvet powder on. Get the douse a little on the ground, puff a few puffs on the uh, on the vine. And this spot's done. I'll be back in the next couple weeks, hopefully, to see the split brown nine hitting this scrape. And I cannot wait to put my eyes on him this year. And then next we're gonna go across the backside of the farm on the south, and I've got a bunch of monster mail that we're gonna put out over there. It's not anywhere close to the tree stands or nothing. It's out way up on top of the hill, so. Well, we're on the south side of this farm now. Uh, I had pictures of the split brown nine clear over on this side of the farm too. I'm way up on top of the hill. This is corn this year. Um, we're right next to the cornfield. Um, I've got a tree stand about 600 yards back to the east from here. I don't hunt this as just a tree line, uh, fence line way up in the middle of nowhere. Um, I didn't put any monster meal out here last year, but I'm gonna try it this year. A lot of times the early season we get the bachelor, uh, the bachelor groups and uh, you know, some of the lone bucks, they like to travel these big hilltops you know, out by themselves in the open where they can see everything. So I'm gonna put a browning camera right here on this little tree and uh, hopefully we can get some of these deer moving up here. Uh, and staying, uh, staying up on top of these hills. Some of our best pictures last year of uh, the bachelor groups came off of a bean field about a quarter mile away with absolutely nothing around, kind of like this. So we're gonna see what we can do on this new site. Well, it's late July. I haven't really said that in the video prior to this, but it's July 29th. Got the scrape vine up on the north end of the farm, or I guess kind of the middle of the farm, north middle of the farm. I've got a monster meal here, monster meal attractant. Got the browning trail camera set up here. I got one more spot to hit. It's about 600 yards away, I got a tree stand. I've got a, 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 a scrape in front of. I'm gonna go freshen that up. I've ran that all year. I haven't had a camera running in front of it for a while. So I'm gonna go clean that out, put another scrape by in front of it, and uh, then we'll be done and out of here. And I probably won't be back for three to four weeks if I can hold myself to it, because I really wanna see pictures of these deer in here. So we'll go from there. The last scrape of the day, Got the trail camera set back off quite a ways. Uh, it's kind of a lower hanging branch. I couldn't find too great of a spot to put the scrape by. But this is an old scrape from last year. Um, they hit the crap out of this spot last year on these scrapes. There was like four of them I'm right next to the tree stand. So we're going to freshen this one up. I might hold off on this spot just a little bit longer uh, since they've been hitting it already. So. Uh, we're just going to freshen this up. We're going to get out of here. Like I said, I'll come back in three or four weeks, check all these cameras and see what I got.